I apologize greatly for what happened. I actually had some pretty important stuff I had to help a friend with, so I'm sorry, but I'm back. I even like an hour later, less than an hour, so that's good. I'm just not even gonna waste time when they get started. Hey guys, critical. I mean. <laughs> Hey guys, Nova Explosion, welcome back to more Dragon Quest VIII. So, for those of you on Twitch, I apologize, it's the same day, I had to end my stream and then take like a 30 to 50 minute break because I had to help a friend with something pretty important. But for you guys on YouTube, it won't really affect you. So that's good. But yeah. Anyway. Let me get my... Let's uh, go through the Dark Ruins and find Domegus and end him for everything he's he's done. We gotta do this. This place looks pretty cool. Alright, fight me. Alright, cool. Alright, wait. Uh... Falcon Slash... No, no, use Boom, actually. And then you're gonna Helm Splitter this one, and that should be good. But yeah, I'm sorry about like leaving everyone on Twitch for a little bit, but then I'm back now. I'm pr it's probably gonna be less than four hours today, but that's fine because I'm gonna be playing the rest of the weekend. As I said, I don't really care if I don't get four hour streams. As long as I stream consistently and they're at least like three hours, that's a good enough schedule. I'll be done with the game in due time, so. You know. However it works, it works. I don't really know which way is the right way. So I'm gonna fight as much as I can because I know for a fact that the enemies here are crazy strong. Also, this music is really good. It like says Dragon Quest all over. Tackle. Helm Splitter. Here we go. All right, awesome. I'm fortunate that Dragon Quest VIII always gets the, um, Dragon Quest VIII is behind, I feel. It's not like behind, it's ahead of Grandia 2, of course, because I just started Grandia 2. But Dragon Quest VIII isn't as far ahead as it could be, because I either had to, like, not stream it, or I was... Actually, no, Dragon Quest VIII isn't that behind. This is, like, part 63, 62, 63, something like that. It's not that behind. I think I started the game like two weeks ago. That's actually really good. I don't remember if this is ahead or behind for Dragon Quest. I mean, it probably could be a little more like a stream or two ahead. Or maybe a stream ahead. But honestly, I work now, so I can't guarantee I have time to stream as much as I did before. I'm doing my best to stream as much as possible. Be gone. I just got my schedule change. 
my my job keeps giving me schedule changes. It's so crazy. I was like, oh, at first they told me, oh, you work at 12 and you get out at 10. I was like, oh, okay, that means I can't stream, unfortunate, but whatever. And then now they gave me a 4:30 to 10:15 shift, which I can work. I can I can stream still. I would just have to start at 12 and make it till four. Assuming I do four hours, or maybe it'll be have to be less than four hours. I don't know. Maybe I'll do before 12, like I did last time. You know what, though? It's fine. If I don't get four hour streams, perfectly okay. If anything, if I start at 12, I'll just do a three hour, 40 minute stream. It'll be 11 videos. That's also fine. So, whatever works, works. I'll do whatever it takes. Like, as long as I'm streaming consistently and giving you guys content, I'm good. It, it, it bodes well with me. Like, I don't need to give you four hour streams every day as much as I would like to. I just can't. I have a real- I have a life, and <laughs> I have dogs that I have to take care of sometimes. I have to work. So much to do. It's just like, as much as I love video games, I can't make my life only video games, and I can't really always dedicate four hour streams. Also, four hours can be a long time, depending if I eat something sufficient or not. So, you know, there's that. Fizzle, use Crackle, okay, so I don't know how long we're gonna go today, depending, I think this part of the stream is gonna be like two hours, so that'll add up to like a three hour, 30 minute stream from adding the first part, maybe another two hours today, today was a bit of a, a weird day for stream and I apologize. But, um, I, I played Dragon Quest. As long as I got videos out and I streamed at all, as long as I streamed today, totally fine. It's, it's all good. Like, it's fine as long as I stream. Like, this is gonna be a different session on YouTube. YouTube, it's gonna be a separate session, but I'm considering it the same stream, if that makes sense. Like, I'm gonna combine the stream and consider it the same one. But on YouTube, it's gonna be different. It's gonna act as if it's different streams. It's gonna act as if I streamed one day, hour and a half, and then another day, like two hours. But it, it's all the same. When you really think about it, it's all the same. Ow, that hurts. Be gone. Die, die. Ow. That hurts. Alright, cool. I'm just gonna be fighting a lot because I I remember this boss. Actually, when I'm thinking about when I think about the game, the thing one of the things I remember most is this boss fight. It is madness. It is difficult. I am telling you, it's actually difficult. Like I feel like I had to grind to get strong enough. It's crazy. All right, that opened this. That opened the stairs. Hello, am I like 26? I feel like when I first came, got to the boss, I was like 25. So I feel like I'm over leveled compared to my last playthrough, my first playthrough. I could be wrong. Like, again, it's been a while. Imagine if these enemies were in the Swordman's Labyrinth. Imagine that'd be awesome, but they were not. Anyway, as I was saying, I think I was a little, on a little lower level than I am now when I came here in my first playthrough. Oh, uh, ow! Never do that again. Oh my God, no, Jessica. Angelo, heal yourself. Oh, you're gonna bring Jessica up. Wow. That's bad. Oh, that's really bad. My god, these enemies are strong. Uh, wrong. Can I run? Alright, I think I need to go back and buy some armor. And weapons. Specifically armor. I'm not using my one and only Idris Leaf though. I think I'm just gonna get Angelo up. Use Zing on everyone else. I right, use you back. This place is rough. Really difficult, it seems. 
So, go to Alexandria. Doesn't really matter. Actually, I should, probably should have gone somewhere where I can buy items. I can, I can still do that. I'm gonna do that right now. I should probably go somewhere where I can purchase equipment. Probably Argonia is the best place. Argonia it is. Here's what I'm gonna do. Revive Angelo. And then use Zing on Yangus and Jessica. Because it is true that I always revive... I always revive Angelo from the church and it's kind of a waste. Oh no, I always revive the others from a church. And if Angelo's alive, that's kind of a waste. If Angelo is alive, which he can be, I can just use his Zing spell to revive the other two. Or other three, whatever it may be. Whoever is dead. Basically, anyone that's not Angelo should be revived from the church. But just Angelo. The 200, 300, and 200, like, that's 800 coins. If I can stop that, if I can prevent from spending that much, I will. Alright. Then... <laughs> why does it fail in the menu? Like, what's the point of that? I get that's a chance, but they, why in the menu does that to fail? <laughs> Alright. Let me buy some equipment. Specifically armor. Weapons are good too, but I think armor is what I need most. Because those things hit hard. It's actually madness how hard they hit. Hi. Got anything? Just weapons, but uh, maybe not. Uh, Zombies Bane. You know what? Mm, a lot of money. Get it. I wish I should have a lot of attack. I'll sell the other sword he had. Heal broadsword, yeah, I'll bring me a boost. That's it? Alright. Hopefully armor isn't Hopefully, I'm hoping that um, armor isn't as expensive. I like hope and pray. Angelo needs some defense. Magic armor. That'd be ideal. Oh, I really wish I had more money. I wish money wasn't so annoying to get. Get rid of this Templar sword. When am I ever going to use it? Trust me, I'm never going to put Angela on sword. I'm a little desperate for money, but it'd be that way. Get this magic armor for Angela. Angelo's defense is uh, horrendous. I don't know what Jessica's is, but... um. 98 is better than what Angelo's was, so I think Jessica will be fine. I'm good. There's really nothing else I can buy, so uh, we'll go to the inn first, and then we're gonna go back to the dark rooms. Oh, I don't have money. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that, that really sucks. That actually sucks. You know what? I'm going to sell stuff. I'll probably be able to get 40, but man, I'm broke. It was worth it, though. It's worth it. How many other armor? Like, what do you guys have? You have other armor. Oh, if I could, I would. Why are things so expensive in this game? I, I would get the better armor if I could, but it's just, it's too expensive. There's no way I'm gonna be able to... Like, I have to 
intentionally grind. I have to like actually grind hard with gold golems to get more money. You get so much money. And even gold golems only give you like, I think each one gives you 300 gold. So if you fight two, you get 600. You don't get like nuglets or something to sell. Dragon Quest Heroes 2, I used to grind the gold golems and then they dropped the gold nuglets. But the gold golems don't give you much themselves, but the ingredients they drop give you a lot. Are there even such thing as gold nuggets? It doesn't look like I have one. That's annoying. Alright. Whatever, whatever. I'm fine with this. Alright, back to the Dark Ruins, and this time I promise we will fight. I can't guarantee we'll defeat Domegus. If Domegus is too hard, I'm gonna have to, like, grind. But I don't wanna have to end my stream again. So I think what I'm gonna do is... I'll probably grind on stream, and if anyone in chat wants to have an, uh, ask me anything session, that'd be nice. Because I don't want to, like, end my stream to grind. I mean, I don't like grinding on stream, but I already ended my stream once, and I don't want to do it again. That's where we have to go, but I think there was a chest on this side, so I'm going to explore this side of the stairs. Oh, so it sucks that I can't use my saber cap, but I understand how it would work because this is like a very crammed cave. I thought this was a chest. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, that would suck, but actually not really. It doesn't hurt to explore. I'm playing a JRPG after all, so exploring is beneficial. It is a chest. 2,000 gold coins, yo, it's awesome. So after fighting some enemies, I can get that magic vestment for Jessica. If I'm not leaving the ruins again, I'll do that after Domegus. If I, if I get stuck on Domegus, I'll just do it for Domegus. I'll do it when I get to Domegus, but if I don't, if I kill Domegus, then I'm doing it after that. I don't know, because Domegus is really hard. The boss fight's like insanely hard, and I remember I had to grind to like level 30. I had to wait till Angelo got multi-heal, which I don't remember when that is. It's either 28, 29, or 30. One of those levels. I don't remember exactly. Die. At least Angelo has higher defense, because Angelo is the one that can revive people, so it's good that Angelo's defense is higher. That does help a lot. But yeah. Fight me. Oh, wow, it's a lot of zombies. Zap them. I forgot I had zap. I keep. I also keep forgetting that zap is like boom, where it hits every single enemy on the map. Probably should have done axes of evil with yank this, but too little, too late. Yes, get them. Oh, too easy. Zap them. Oh, it's too easy. They are. They didn't die, but they're probably almost dead. I bet. I bet they're almost dead. Oh, nice. No, please. I hurts. Alright, the zap should kill him. Zap them all. Oh, the red ones aren't dead. Okay. Gotta worry about the red ones then. No, dude. Nice. Pick that up. Do I have anything to heal mana? I might. Because if not, I have to rely on level ups, which is not always the best thing. 
You know, it's kind of getting close to a level up, but not really. It's not really close to a level up, but it's not far either. But I've see, I see them need a lot more experience than 4,700. Hi. Oh, ooh, I felt it. For the first time in what it seems like an eternity, I felt the power of Raptor near me. Raptor? For my lack of physical form prevents me from seeing the Lord of Darkness. Could it really have been him? Could he have returned to us? I don't understand what you're talking about. Omegas has some explaining to do. 